Our gathering heaven number 315, ye watchers and ye holy ones. Ye watchers and ye holy ones, bright seraph, cherubim and thrones, raise a glass ring, hallelujah. Choir dominions, Princeton's pals, virtues, archangels, angels, choirs, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Respond, ye souls, and endless rest, ye patriarchs and prophets, blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. Ye holy twelve and martyr strong, all saints triumphant raise a song. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Today is the memorial of St. Andrew Dunglock priest and companion martyrs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, the source and origin of all fatherhood who kept the martyrs, St. Andrew Dunlop and his companions, faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant that through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, you may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. King Belshazzar gave a great banquet for a thousand of his lords with whom he drank. Under the influence of the wine, he ordered the gold and silver vessels which Nebuchadnezzar, his father, had taken from the temple in Jerusalem to be brought in so that the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers might drink from them. When the gold and silver vessels taken from the house of God in Jerusalem had been brought in, while the king, his lords, his wives, and his entertainers were drinking from them, they praised their gods of gold and silver, bronze and iron, wood and stone. Suddenly, opposite the lampstand, the fingers of a human hand appeared, writing on the plaster of the wall in the king's palace. When the king saw the wrist in the hand that wrote, his face blanched. His thoughts terrified him, and his hips, hip joints shook, and his knees knocked. Then Daniel was brought into the presence of the king, and the king asked him, Are you the Daniel, the Jewish exile, whom my father, the king, brought from Judah? I have heard that the Spirit of God is in you, that you possess brilliant knowledge and extraordinary wisdom. I have heard that you can interpret dreams and solve difficulties. If you are able to read the writing and tell me what it means, you shall be clothed in purple, wear a gold collar about your neck, and be third in the government of the kingdom. Daniel answered the king, You may keep your gifts or give your presents to someone else, but the writing I will read for you, O king, and tell you what it means. You have rebelled against the Lord of heaven. 
You have the vessels of his temple brought before you so that you and your nobles, your wives, and your entertainers might drink wine from them. And you praise the gods of silver and gold, bronze and iron, wood and stone, that neither see nor hear nor have intelligence. But the God in whose hands your life breath and the whole course of your life you did not glorify, by him were the wrist and the hand sent and the writing set down. This is what the writing that was inscribed. Many, tekel, and peres. These words mean mene. The God has numbered your kingdom and put an end to it. Tekel. You have been weighed on the scales and found wanting. Perez, your kingdom has been divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, give glory and eternal praise to him. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory, Give glory and, and praise, praise to, him. to him. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give honor and praise to him. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. All you winds, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give, Give glory, glory and eternal, eternal praise, praise to him. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to the prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead you to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand. For I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. As we have closed our liturgical seasons, we continue to discern and reflect on the many things that the loving Lord is giving to us, deep reflections, eye-openers for our discernment about the end times. But in our gospel today, it no longer speaks about certain physical changes regarding the end times. Jesus is giving us an enlightenment. How are we able to strengthen ourselves in our own personal dispositions as well? It is no longer the end of the world that he would always describe, but it is also somewhat the end of our physical selves when those moments that our brothers or the people themselves are the ones who would persecute us. Truly, even in the modern times today, we have a modern day persecutions because of our own faith. 
and when during those moments that come across our own lives as well. These modern day persecutions that we are standing with, is it because of our faith? Is it because the principles that we believe into? If it's because the way that we follow Jesus, Jesus has one big assurance for all of us. This is the main reason why we are waiting for him. This is the main reason why Jesus came into our world. He is the Emmanuel who is willing to be with us, sharing not only in our successes, but he is also sharing with our challenges. May each day in our encounter with Jesus, as we are always nourished in the reception of his sacraments, may we continue to stand firm that amidst all the challenges, we are able to have the presence of Christ in our lives. Let us now stand to pray. The turbulence that would mark the passing of the old order also touched Jesus' disciples. They will also experience persecution. Let us pray for perseverance that would secure our lives. Like the apostles, may we rejoice at being found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of Jesus' name and continue to proclaim him as our Savior. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May we revere the names not only of those who have shed their blood for Christ, but also of teachers of the faith, missionaries, confessors, virgins, and married couples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. May we rely on Jesus' promise that we would be given in the courage and wisdom that our adversaries would be unable to resist or refute. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. May those undergoing suffering not give in to despair for the victory of Christ, not darkness and death, has the last word. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. May the church come out of the trials and persecutions strengthened and full of hope, for the blood of martyrs is the seed of Christianity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For Floridiza Chris Oklo and Mary Donaldson, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. Silently, we present our petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father, Jesus assured us that not a hair falls down from our head without you knowing it. In times of suffering and great need, may we entrust ourselves into your hands, for you are our loving and merciful God. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 543. 543, One Love Released. One bread, one body, one cup, one coal, one faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace. One church, one people, one love released. Is not this bread we share, the body of our Lord? Is not 
not this kind we drink the blood of Christ out for. One bread, one body, one cup, one call. One faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love release. I am the bread of life, eat and you shall live. To those who share this meal, my strength I'll always give. One bread, one body, one cup, one coal. One faith, one spirit, present in us all. One prayer, one blessing, one hope, one peace, one church, one people, one love released. To God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of your holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice. To Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for this blood of your blessed martyr, Andrew Dunlock, and his companions, put out Christ, the glory of your name, shows forth your marvelous works, and by our own weakness, you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ our Lord. And so, with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. You are indeed the Leo Lord and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took the bread and giving thanks and broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and bury our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray. With the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, and safe from all distresses we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, he said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
God of grace. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. May God bless you always. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Uh The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. 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 As you go to the sick and the homebound, take not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of this parish community. As with the prayers of those whom you have to visit and return, go now with God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. 
Renewed by the bread, as we commemorate these holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance of eternal prize to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your family always rejoice together, O Lord. Over the miseries of redemption, they have celebrated and granted its members and perseverance to attain the effects and the flow from them to Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide all your servants and ensure their safety so that in their celebration of thanksgiving, they may be strengthened by your blessings. They may be at all times abound in gratitude with you and bless you with an ending exaltation. To Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. We now go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Our sending forth hymn is number 378. 378. Praise to the Lord. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is your health and salvation. Come all who hear, now to his altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. Praise to the Lord, who shall prosper our work and defend us. Surely his goodness and mercy shall dearly attend us. Ponder on him what the Almighty can do. love will be brought on. 